Hi, pipe lovers. Welcome to the Pipe Lovers Den. It's Mother's Day, and I want to wish all of your mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. Several events have come together in the last day or so, which have underscored um, several things and several motivations and several themes that um, have been motivating my son and I to initiate the Aged Briar Hunt, uh, the Aged Briar Trail, in trying to rec find and recover, refurbish um, antique or vintage pipes. Now, last night I was deeply moved to see a video that was put up by our very good friend K6PPL. And in this video, um, which was a Mother's Day video, he explained that he found a tattered file folder that he had never seen before that had a letter in it from a friend of his that was written to him as his mother was passing away. And his mother had had a stroke. And at the bottom of the letter, his mother wrote um, in scrambled letters, um, love mother, and he could make it out. He had never seen this letter before. And he took it to mean that his mother had reached across from you know, the, the, the beyond and across 30 years of time to remind him of her love for him, particularly on Mother's Day. A very powerful, uh, very moving message and a powerful and very moving um, video. And I would urge all of you to go to K6TPL and see the video. Now, Pipe Freak Jr. has been finishing up a course in folklore, um, and the focus of the course was on tradition bearers and those who pass on tradition uh, in families or tradition in human society. Now, in line with Mother's Day, I would like to pass on to you a very strong tradition we've had, which is the story of Ada. Now, Ada was my grandmother's sister, my mother's aunt, and my great aunt. And Ada, when she was six years old in 1890, contracted whooping cough um, and was very bad. And the doctors told my great grandmother that she'd never give the little girl something to drink, she would choke to death. Well, Ada was pleading for a drink, but my great grandmother was afraid and didn't give her a drink. The little girl died in a paroxysm of coughing, begging for a drink of water. My great-grandmother, who lived another 54 years, never forgave herself for not having given the little girl a drink. This story was passed down by my grandmother and my mother. Well, unfortunately, my mother was in the hospital on high-pressure oxygen and morphine, and she was terminal, dying of cancer. She only had minutes to live. And the hospital brought in a tray with uh, a dinner tray and it had milk on it. And my mother asked for a drink of the milk. Now, my mother had a high pressure oxygen mask on and there was a hole in the side of it. And I went to get the milk and the doctor said, Oh, well, you can't give her a drink. She's on pr high pressure oxygen. She'll choke to death on the milk. Exactly the same thing that happened a hundred and this was 1996 same thing that happened 106 years before to her aunt now my mother never drank milk so obviously there was a message here uh, my great great grandmother died of unguent fever which was transmitted by milk so nobody in the family ever drank milk after that for fear of contracting disease so I ignored the doctors gave my mother the drink of milk and I said to her, of course, since it was milk, I understood what my mother was trying to, to say. And I said to my mother, do you remember the story of Ada? And she looked at me, and the last thing she ever said was, oh, you remember the old story. Well, that was closure. A circle that had been started 106 years before 
was closed at that moment. This is the great power of human life, tradition, um, things that are passed on, the emotions from the past, human emotion, human energy, doesn't die. And this is the message, uh, again, of the science of folklore. So, uh, Junior's course in folklore, um, our good friend K6TPL is talking about his mother's love and tradition and passing on and the story of Ada fits in with why we, the Pipe Freaks, are on the aged briar hunt and why we're seeking to locate these very fine old vintage pipes, refurbish them and bring them back. This is another reason why a good friend, Sid, who's 91 years old, is also so enthusiastic. Because this is an opportunity for him, in advanced old age, to pass on find things, pass on tradition, lore, um, the folklore of pipe smoking to new people and new generations. Now, I had requests about this pipe. I didn't get an opportunity to finish discussing it. I ran out of time in a previous video. This pipe is also representative of what I was just talking about. This pipe was given to a friend of mine's father, who was a very good friend of mine, by a Dutchman whose life he saved in World War II. Well, because of the war and the harsh conditions of the Nazi occupation of Holland, the man's family, didn't have, he didn't have much of anything left of his family. And this is a very precious thing. It's mounted in amber and sterling silver and it's antique meerschaum and it's finely carved. It was made in Vienna about 1690 and this is the tradition now what the man told my friend's father my friend was that this pipe from 1690 on was the family's initiation his family's initiation pipe when the eldest son in the family reached 12 years old he smoked a bowl of special tobacco and the, the ceremony made him the heir of the family's wealth and possessions. He was the heir designate. So every generation in the man's family, every firstborn male and in direct line of descent, participated in an initiation ceremony and smoked this pipe, and by smoking it became the heir apparent in that family. Now, my friends, uh, my friend wasn't particularly interested, and, and my friend's father, and he had two, you know, two other sons, they weren't particularly interested. So my friend's father had me smoke this pipe, and he made me a direct heir in this old, old Dutch family, simply by virtue of smoking this, and there was something to be read while you smoked it, and there was a whole ceremony involved which the Dutchman had given um, my friend's father, Abe. I have done this with uh, Junior. So this pipe is a living embodiment now of well over 320 years nearly of living tradition. Now, in the fraternity of pipe smokers, um, this goes back a long, long way. How long? Well, this pipe in my collection is a Native American Woodland Indian stone pipe. This pipe, folks, conservatively dated, conservatively dated, is over 4,000 years old. Perhaps even older than that. This pipe is as old or older than the Great Pyramid of Egypt itself. We are the direct heirs in a line of pipe smoking that stretches back to and even long before the Great Pyramid of Egypt itself. And this is, again, the motivating factor that I want to say. And with proper care and proper handling, we can pass these precious, precious vessels of tradition human feeling, human life, on to generations after us. 
And this is what pipe freaks are all about. And this is our major focus. Please wish all of your mothers a happy Mother's Day, and we'll be back with you. Thank you for your time. Take care.